talk about this, we bring in now global affairs analyst Colin Sumweke, who joins us via Skype from Belgium. Thank you very much for joining us at this time. Uh, are you curious, or curious about the choice Nigeria is making on this uh, you know, crucial war uh, against corruption? I mean, what good will this deal bring us? Uh, curiosity is indeed um, a major word there. But uh, concern is, uh, is also uh, very appropriate uh, in this uh, treaty. Uh, you have uh, very clearly um, summarized uh, the aim uh, of, uh, of the treaty, what it is uh, meant to achieve, which is basically uh, to lay the, uh, the framework for um, uh, fighting uh, crimes and crime-related uh, 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 incidents uh, between the two uh, countries. Um, now, we will recall that uh, the building block of uh, what has now been uh, transformed into a treaty was actually laid in 2002 by uh, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo when he was the uh, president of Nigeria and, uh, you know, making um, a state uh, visit to, uh, to Moscow. Um, he actually uh, signed some eight uh, memorandum of memoranda of, uh, of understanding and one of them is specifically this particular one that uh, you know the administration of uh, Mohammed Buhari has now transformed into uh, into a treaty now the concern is the original intent of the uh, memorandum of understanding signed by uh, chief Olusegun Obasanjo uh, is this still what has now been transformed into uh, a treaty, taking into consideration uh, global developments, Nigeria's uh, aspirations side by side that of, uh, of Russia? So that's where uh, the concern and indeed uh, the curiosity lie. Mm. Okay, apart from your concerns now, how confident are you that this administration will utilize this uh, treaty now to pursue its corruption matters and not... Uh, let it be used to witch hunt its uh, opponents? Well, um, it is indeed uh, part of uh, the concern that, uh, that I talked about. Now, if this treaty was signed between Nigeria and the UK, Nigeria and the United States, or uh, if it was signed in, uh, in Dubai, uh, one will immediately see through why uh, the choice of any of these uh, countries, because as we know, these are the most famous uh, places where, you know, Nigerians uh, take their loot to. Now, there is no evidence to support the fact that uh, Nigerians are making significant penetration into uh, Russia in terms of, uh, you know, depositing their ill-gotten money there. So one would wonder uh, to what extent uh, this particular treaty is meant to forestall or prevent, uh, you know, such um, uh, transfer of uh, of Nigeria's uh, Commonwealth mm. uh, to to Russia. So that fear um, is is really not uh, very much bet. Okay. Uh, now, but before I let you go now, the, Mr. The Collins, awake. Finally, what are measures do you think the government can adopt now to strengthen its anti-corruption fight? Well, um, I believe that uh, first and foremost, um, uh, the government needs to act in ways that doesn't look as if uh, it's pursuing uh, shadows. Um, I mean, you don't go to Russia to sign a treaty of this nature and call it uh, fighting uh, corruption, no. Uh, go to those uh, countries where we know that uh, significant uh, you know, wealth of Nigeria are deposited and begin to sign those, uh, those treaties there begin to um, you know seek those countries to return looted uh, you know uh, uh, resources of uh, of nigeria and indeed uh, make it uh, punishable by law uh, for um, any country i mean through uh, international uh, treaties international organization for any country harboring them um, you know looted uh, uh, money uh, from nigeria right. uh, you know so that um, those are the tools that are needed to you know uh, to be deployed in fighting a uh, corruption uh, at uh, international uh, level all right all right thanks all very right. much uh, mr thank you very much Collins and wake for your analysis uh, we appreciate your uh, points as always
and 